This demonstration will have a look at how we can deploy and test Office Online Server for Exchange Server 2016. What this provides us with is it provides us with file viewing and editing for Microsoft Office documents through a web browser. It integrates with both Exchange Server 2016 and SharePoint Server 2016 to work with email attachments and documents in SharePoint libraries. It can also be used to view documents in shared folders and on websites. So the first thing we need to do is just set up some certificates to allow the installation to work and also allow the installation to function. So I've got my Exchange server. In my Exchange server, if I come to my Microsoft Management Console, what I've done is I've loaded this up to Manage Local Certificates. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to request a new certificate. So we'll right click, do all tasks, and we'll request a new certificate. This will bring us into Wizard, so we'll select Next. And what I want to do here is I want to go for an Active Directory Enrollment Policy and select Next. I want a Computer Certificate and select Enroll. And we'll select Finish. And now what we've got is we've got our lon-ex1.adatum.com certificate. We'll just right click this and we'll just go to Properties. And what we want to do here is we just want to come to Friendly Name and we just want to enter a friendly name for this certificate. And I'm going to call mine Exchange Cert and select OK. Now what we'll do is we'll just close the console. We don't need it anymore, so we'll just get rid of this. And uh, we'll say no at this point here. Next thing we need to do is just come into the Exchange Admin Center. And we'll come into the Exchange Admin Center on Servers. What we'll do here is we'll just go for Servers. And then what we'll do, come into Certificates. And under Certificates, I've got my Exchange Cert. So let's just double click on this. Then what we'll do is we'll come to Services. And on services, we'll use this for IIS. And we'll save this off. And we'll just close Internet Explorer. Right, we need to do the same thing on our Office Online server. So we'll just move over to the console of that server. That's within the certificate snapping. We'll just go to certificates, right click, go to all tasks, we'll request a new certificate. Select our next button. Go for the Active Directory and Roam policy and select Next. And then what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to request a computer certificate. And then what we'll do is select Enroll. And select Finish. And then what we'll do at this point here, we'll just right click, let's we'll go to the Properties, and we'll enter the friendly name. I'm going to call that OOS Certificate. So we'll select OK. And now what we've done was we've now set up the certificate, so we'll just close down the console. And the next thing we need to do just on our Office server here is we just need to install some prerequisites. And we're going to do that through Server Manager and we're going to add some rules and features. So we'll select Add Rules and Features. That will bring us into the wizard, so we'll select Next. What we're going to do here is we're going to go for Rule Based or Feature Based and select Next. Then we'll select our server and select Next. That'll bring us into server roles. So we'll scroll this down, and what we're looking for here is we're looking for our web server IIS, and we'll scroll this down a little bit further. And we'll expand web server. And we'll just scroll this down. And what we're looking for is application development, so we'll expand this up and scroll this down. And what we want here is we want server side includes and then what we'll do is we'll select next just on the features we don't want to add any additional features so we'll select next just on the confirmation we'll have a quick read through this we're fairly happy with everything on here so we'll select install and we'll leave that to go so at this point we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the role is installed and as we can see the role is now installed so we'll just select close at this point and the next thing we need to do is we just now need to install and configure the Office Online Server. So I'm just going to come into my File Explorer. Within File Explorer, I'm going to go to my D drive. And on my D drive, I'm then just going to run the setup.exe program. So I'll come down to D. Double click on setup.exe. That'll bring us into the installation wizard. I'll read the license agreement. I'll then accept the license agreement and select continue. Then what we'll do, I'm fairly happy with the default location, so at this point now, all I'm going to do is select Install Now. Now this is going to take a little while just to install, so what we'll do is we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the installation is complete. 
So the installation is now complete, so we can select the close button. We then just go into Windows PowerShell because what we want to do here is set up some information relating to certificates and also as well URLs that will be used. So what we'll do at this point here, I'll just clear off the screen. And then all we'll do is we'll just start issuing our PowerShell commandlets. And the command that we're going to issue is new hyphen office web apps form. Hyphen internal URL will be https colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen oos dot datum dot com. And then hyphen external URL https colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen oos dot datum dot com hyphen certificate name and then oos certificate. So we've now returned back some information if we scroll this up. Yep, we've got our internal, our external URL. So we're happy with that. We're using the right certificate. So we're fairly happy that everything has worked successfully on the OOS server. So the next thing to do now is configure Exchange Server 2016 for Office Online Server. So in order to do that, I'll go back to my Exchange Server. So my Exchange Server, what I've typed in here is I've typed in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen OOS dot com forward slash hosting forward slash discovery. So we can have a look at that. We can see that we've got some information back from an XML file. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go to the Exchange Management shell and tell our organization config the name of our discovery endpoint. So we'll launch up Exchange Management shell. Now what we need to do is we just need to enter in the command that will set up our organization config. So I'll just get rid of Internet Explorer first. We'll just move this across a little bit, expand it up, and we'll just issue the commandlet. And what we're going to do, set hyphen organization config, hyphen WAC discovery endpoint, https colon forward slash forward slash lon hyphen oos dot dot com forward slash hosting forward slash discovery. And finally, what we'll do here is we'll just give IIS a bit of a reset. So we'll do an IIS reset and hit return. So we're happy now. Internet services has successfully started. So now let's just close down our exchange management shell. And now what we've done is we've now installed our Office Online Server and integrated it with Exchange Server 2016. Next thing we'll do is we'll just move over to our client machine and we'll just verify Office Online Server functionality by using Outlook on the web. So now client machine, what we've done is we've just created a file called test file. If we just double click on this, just to show what's inside it, there's not a massive amount of data in here. Basically says this is Don's document. Not really bothered about the activation wizard. So what we'll do here is we'll just close that down. Then what we'll do is we'll just come to OWA and within OWA we're just going to send a new email message. And we'll send that email message to administrator. And what we're going to do here is just say this is going to be a test message. And we'll stick in our attachment. So what we'll do at this point here is we'll just attach our test file and then what we'll do, we'll click send. Now we'll send that mail message. Next thing to do is to just log into OWA as administrator. So we'll just sign out, it's done. And all we'll do here is we'll sign back in, but this time we'll sign in as administrator. And now what we have here is we have a test message, so we'll just go for our test message. So we'll just double click on this from Don. This is just launching up the message itself. And what we can see here now next to the text test document at this point here, I've got a little drop down. Now one of the things I can do is I can click view. And now what it's doing here is we can see Word Online. We can see this is Don's document. So this is the end of the demonstration. We've now installed and configured Office Online Server. Thank you.